Hello friends, this is Barbara from Wigs and Fluff. This is a crazy shirt, isn't it? Really crazy. It's not my usual style, but I kind of liked it. Now in today's video, we're going to be unboxing the Faith, and she's right here. There she is, right there, in number 22, or light blonde. Now, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. And if you want to help me, stay to the end of the video, and that will help the algorithm. Now, on to the Faith. I think you're going to like this wig. I think we're going to like this one. So, I got this one off of Paula Young's site. I've been getting a lot of wigs off of Paula Young. I just... I do get free shipping. So, if you get their catalog... You can get free shipping because they have a code on there. So the trick is to get the Polly Young catalog, and you can get that if you just ask. There's a way that you can sign up for it, and they send you this nice little magazine catalog with all the different Polly Young hairstyles in it that you can just sit and drool over. <laughs> They're so beautiful. So, anyways, there is. The tag, Paula Young always puts a really nice piece of cord here. And this is real important. If you are one that hangs your wig, you're going to need this cord because that's where you're going to attach your little swivel hook. The little swivel hook goes right inside the loop. And you just, you know how to do this, just like this. And then you hang it up by the tag, just like that. On to your hook. When you travel, you do the same thing. And this little hook here will fit on the rod in your hotel room. So, anyways, that's how you do that. Now, I do have another tag on here that is uh, at the do not remove tag. Once it's been removed, you can't return it. But I'm not going to return this one, I know. So, you want to leave that on if you're trying it on for the first time. And what you want to do, for those of you who are new to wigs, now I can't, oh, there it is. I'm trying to find my brush, my wig brush. Make sure that you use a wig brush that is only for wigs. Do not use this on your bio hair. Ever, 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 because you have oils and stuff from your skin and the glands and your head and stuff. That is not good for these wigs. They they'll it it's just no good. Don't don't use it for the same. Okay, so you saw me. I was shaking it out, and then I took my brush and I back comb it to wake up every one of those fibers. See how I'm waking them up? I'm getting right down in there to the very right to the very inside of it because I want to have some fluff to it. I want to be able to style it and do a few things with it. So you got to wake it up. It's been in a box for a long time. Now I'm going to take the Landry off. This is the Landry, Polly Young. Now remember this, the Landry is a very long wig. About that long. And I cut off all that. I did. And I've enjoyed wearing her like that. Okay, so as usual, first thing I look for is uh, Velcro adjusters, and this is Polly Young, and they almost always have Velcro adjusters. That's the first thing. And then I go to try it on. Velcro adjusters are real important, I think. Now, this is just a cute little quirky hairstyle, and you can probably style this in no time at all. It wants to go on this side, but I prefer that side. Let's see. I don't think it has a monofilament, so I may have to just be stuck with something here. And it's wanting to stick straight up in the back. Okay. Now that's where it's wanting to go, naturally. I'm just trying to find the natural place that it's wanting to go. Now, sometimes when you take it out of the box, you're going to find these little... Um, let me go get my wig wax. Excuse me. There we are. Right there. <laughs> and, um, if you don't have wig wax, you need some. This will help. 
when you have the alfalfa look. Sometimes when you take them out of the box, um, it can be anything from um, static electricity in, in the hair. Look how cute that is now. See, it's really getting cute already. Already, and I haven't done much to it at all. Just looking for a way that it wants to go. Now there's the back of it, very, very cute. Now it's laying down. Now it's supposed to be, now it's doing right. I do not like a haircut that sticks straight up. That is not my style. So you will not see me doing that very very often. I just don't care for it. I can wear it sometimes, but I just don't, I don't care for the style. But the color is absolutely beautiful on this, isn't it? It's just light blonde, that's all it is. Number 22 is the color. And I think this is the cutest hairstyle. I, I knew I was going to like it the minute I saw it. The minute I ordered it, I knew I was going to be in love with it. I need earrings this morning, my big gold ones to set this off, and I just didn't put them on this morning. It, this is like a short razor cut, just so cute. I love this wig for summer. A short razor cut with flicked and feathery ends. See, they're all flicked and feathery. I don't like it sticking up in the back, so that's not going to be... Uh, good with me. So I used the wig wax and that seemed to have taken care of it. Now it takes some time to figure out, you know, does it want to go to the left or the right? Is this monofilament? Can I do left or right? Or is this just a plain vanilla wig? And this is a plain vanilla wig. So it looks like it's going to do this. This is what it wants to do. And it's got cute little bangs that come down right to the eyebrows, you know, eyebrow skimming bangs. Um, Velcro adjusters. It is an open cap construction, just a plain traditional, but it's open cap. What does open cap mean? It means that the wefts are in the front as well, so that it gets all around um, ventilation and it's more comfortable. You have open ear tabs on this wig and the weight is about two ounces. Now let's take her off and Let's look on the inside. I'm probably going to have to use my wig wax spray again because I've just taken her off. But you can see now, this is what I mean by open uh, cap construction. See, it just has this little half moon to hold everything in place, all the permatease. That's usually for the permatease. So this in the front here is all open. So you get uh, ventilation here as well as all the way around. This is a beautiful, beautiful little wig. This one here is open ear tab. See, that is open. If it was closed, it would be all covered up. See? So, and um, Velcro, like I said before, that's one of the first things I look for because I just have a thing about that. There it is. Velcro. I love the Velcro. I think they're the best way. I don't like the hook and eye. I don't like the bra strap. I don't like any of those. It has a nice velvet piece in the front for comfort. That just makes all the difference in the world when you're wearing a, a wig like that. It is not monofilament. That's what I was, one thing I was looking for. So she's just a cute little wig. She has no rooting whatsoever. So if you don't like rooting, I know there are some of you that don't like, you've told me that you don't like the rooting, you don't care for it, it looks sloppy, it looks like somebody's let their hair grow out or something. If you don't like the root, rooting, that's okay. You can just get a color like this that's all one color, you know. There is no lights or darks of any kind in this color. It's just simply number 22, light blonde. Just simply that. And it's absolutely adorable just the way she is. She is a cutie. Well, maybe I don't have to spray her again with the wig wax. We'll see. Whoops. Yeah, I got a little bit going on back there. All right, let's give her one more spray with the wig wax back here. Now, I'm not slicking it down. I'm just keeping it from being like the alfalfa look, like from the Our Game comedy. Remember there was a little boy on there and he always had that hair sticking up in the back? That's what I don't like, and I call it the alfalfa look. So here she is, cutest can be. 
The Pretty Little Faith by Paula Young. This is the faith. She's just a feathery cut little wig. Little feathery cut wig. Great for summer. Absolutely adorable. And I really like this little wig. I don't know that she's going to get a head. I might. Never know. But I really like the color, and I really love this little wig. Um, now I want to talk to you about something else. Jesus is more than a comforter. He's more than a teacher. He is my all in all. He is the great almighty God who is and was and is to come. He is coming. Trust me. He's coming in his righteousness and truth. And people, the time is short. It is so, so very short. These things that are happening in Israel, they are predicted in the Bible. This is called the War of Gog and Magog in the Bible. And you're going to see some things happening. You're going to see Russia coming down from the north. They're going to pull out of the Ukraine and come down from the north. But that's a whole other different story. Read uh, Ezekiel 38 in your Bible, and you'll see the story. Now, um, all you need to do to get saved is to believe that Jesus died for your sins. Believe that God raised him from the dead. Believe in your heart. God sees your heart. He knows whether you're really believing this or you're just saying that. A lot of people just say it and it never takes. They're, they're not saved because there's no heart belief. You don't truly believe it. And when you really believe something, you believe it with all of you. So trust him today. Believe that he died on the cross for your sin. Believe that God raised him from the dead. And then proclaim him Lord of Lords and King of Kings because that is who he is. Now, that's my story for today. In tomorrow's video, um, I'm going to be presenting my happy place. My happy place. So please remember to like, subscribe, and comment below. And check out my shorts on YouTube where I feature three cute wigs every single day. And I'll see you tomorrow.